In this lecture, we are getting started creating our project of building a multi-page iOS 15 app with Xcode 13 and Swift 5.5. To get started, we are going to learn how to build a new iOS application in Xcode. Before we jump into this video, go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited membership and get access to all of the courses we've ever created. That's over 2,000 hours of content. Open your Xcode application and select Create a New Project. Here you can select the platform for which you want to create your project. You have iOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS, and other. We are selecting iOS. You could also build for multiple platforms at the same time. We're going to start simple with an iOS prototype. Then you have choices for the application itself. You can choose an application, a document app, a game, an augmented reality app, a sticker pack, an iMessage app, or a Safari extension app. We're just going to choose the regular app. You can also choose a framework and library optionally. Press the next button and you will be prompted to enter some options or metadata for your project. We can put in here a product name. Let's call this our multi-page project. You can select a team, an organization identifier, which is your website's website backward like com.mammothinteractive and then a bundle identifier will be generated using your product name. Our interface will be Swift UI instead of storyboard. Our language will be Swift. We don't need to use core data and we don't have to include tests for this simple prototype. Then press the next button again and this is going to prompt you to select a location where to save your project. Press create and your project will be saved in that folder. You can zoom in on your code with command plus here in the code tab. On the left hand side you have your project contents. The name of your application at the top where you can select a lot of pieces of metadata and information. One thing you want to select is the deployment information. We want to select iOS 15 as the deployment for this application currently the latest version. If you use a different iOS version, well then you can have differences with the compilers that are used so the code can change a little bit. Next we have the project folder underneath the application. We have one file called multi-page app. This is our project name with app at the end of it. This is a Swift file and at the top of the file we import Swift UI which is what we are using to build the project, Swift user interface. This is the main struct or container for the application. So here we're representing our multi-page app. It is of type app. Inside of the struct we have a variable body which stores our scene where we have a window group and a content view. This content view that refers to the other Swift file in our project called content view. The content view is also automatically generated and you can click and drag around different pieces that you don't want to see. Here in content view we again have Swift UI as the library that we're using. There are other tools for building different file types as well. For building a view or a user interface you use Swift UI as the preferred method currently but there are other options as well. We have in content view a structure to represent the content view which stores our body of the view and that just says hello world by default with some padding. We also have a struct for previews of the content view. This is a preview provider and that is for this right hand side where you have this tab. You can resume to generate a preview of the current view that you're on. This only works for view files or view structs. So if you have a different file you won't be able to see a preview because there's nothing to preview. After a moment here you can see the preview of your current file that you're on. It says hello world right there because that is the default text in here. If I change this to hi that will update in my preview. I now see hi in the preview. You can zoom out of the preview with the bottom right hand tab. You can also press play on the preview to actually interact with the 
the phone here. But currently there's nothing really to interact with, but you could swipe on different pages. You could click on stuff if you here pressed play. Now there's also the run button in the top of your file here in the top of Xcode. The run button will launch the simulator, which is similar to a preview, but it does take a bit longer to launch. So the preview is a great way to quickly see a change and how it would look in your application. You can also change what appears as the simulator and the preview device. So here by default we have iPod Touch selected, but we could change this to iPhone 13 Pro. That will change in the preview and in the simulator as the device that we're using to preview our application. At any point you can hide the sidebars by using these icons that look like a page with a sidebar. So you can hide the left and the right sidebars accordingly. And we could adjust the font size as well. Here of our text, just to quickly make it a bit bigger. For that, we just add a dot font property to the text object. And we are going to use the system font and change its size to 60. Just wait a couple seconds and you'll see that the change will be made in your preview. Okay, so there we go. We now are showing hi on our application. So that is how you can quickly create an iOS application. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go to training.mammothinteractive.com. Here you can sign up for the Mammoth Unlimited Membership where you can get access to over 350 courses that we've created.